and the beatings shall continue. The market is getting hit. Are you on the right side? Are you surprised by this? I'm Bagadon at StockMarketCaddy.com. We are not. It's Thursday, October 26th at about midday. Let's slow everything down to a daily view. Let's look at SMC Swing Machine. Monthly members get to see this view every night. Annual members who have gone through the Q School have this tool on their desktop. Let's take a look at things. Here is the VIX, the fear gauge. The fear gauge just kicked in, just kicked in long six days ago. So we may have a lot more to go. We'll see. The S&P futures, S&P, the biggest, deepest, most liquid markets in the world. You may be trading or invested in the SPY, the SPY, which is an exchange traded fund that tracks the S&P. Swing Machine went short the futures 28 days ago. If you had one mini on, yes, you would be up 15,600. One micro, you would be up uh, 1500, 1560, 1560. If you had 10 of these on, you would be up 156,000. It went short at 4490 at 5 p.m. when? On September 19th. The trend is down and it has been down. We are getting into the area of panic. This is not the area on a position basis that we will begin to get short. No. The market is getting close to a bounce in our view. I know it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't look like that at the moment. But over the next 20 days, we are likely to see a pretty vicious bounce. Let's look at the NASDAQ. Daily. Short. 27 days ago, the call went out. Did you get that call? Did you see it? 17,800. The NASDAQ is in panic. They are panic selling. What could be happening is all those hedge funds, all those banks, all those retail traders that were leveraging, leveraging, and adding more leverage on top of the bubble, they now are deleveraging. They are maybe selling things they'd rather not sell. They may be forced to sell. Watch out for the three o'clock hour every day right now. Because if they, they have a choice, they can either add more money to their account they can liquidate some positions, even some of the winning positions. And if they don't do it, the banks and the brokerages will do it for them. It's called forced selling. Be careful. The Russell, where all the speculators play, and appetite shows us the appetite for risk. It went short when? 51 days ago. 51 days. One contract, 11200 at what price? 1898 back in August. That was September, August. The Dow, 38 days ago. No place to hide. 10 grand. Oil futures. When did the oil futures get long? They're dipping right now. They went long 78 days ago. At what price? $70.46 back in July. Gold futures on the verge of breaking out. It's all time high, just over $2,000 an ounce. Long, seven days ago. One contract, 2200 Now, look at the dollar. The dollar on a daily basis. 
went along when 61 days ago a futures contract at 102 is up 4,592 now you may think that isn't much that is huge a futures contract in the dollar is about two grand over a hundred percent return a hundred percent return in 61 days the Bitcoin community the crypto community they would be falling all over themselves if they could get a cryptocurrency to double in 61 days the dollar has why we have interest rate we have interest rates rising they've been rising we are in quantitative tightening not quantitative easing the bubble is letting the air out is it going to do it orderly are we going to have the proverbial soft landing or is it going to become disorderly the hedge funds they will turn their machines off now we are at the lows we are in panic but the VIX could go higher the markets could go lower if the markets crash out today which when we're in a bearish phase like this many times the market participants don't want to go in to a weekend long so it could get worse this afternoon anything happens over the weekend any no noise or news of a hedge fund or a big something being liquidated or anything else on the world stage in this environment could present a situation where come Monday and Tuesday in these crash like events in history usually occur on Mondays and Tuesdays these markets could flush out now we can't have a 1987 style crash we can't go down 22 percent in a day because the government has orchestrated curbs but they can close the markets for a period of time these markets haven't really been tested it's been up up in a way so I hope you are hunkered down I hope you are on the right side of the markets and protecting yourself if you want to learn how to trade the markets and exploit the volatility that we see in the markets day and day because we believe for years to come the markets are going to go into a period of high volatility feel free to visit our website feel free to give me a call from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. any day I'll be in the office tomorrow morning early till noon and I'm happy to speak with you 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. any day we wish you the best there's no reason to panic but there is every reason in the world we believe and we're here for those folks that say enough of this I want to learn I want to understand what these markets are doing and how they do it have a great weekend everyone I'm bagging on this is stock market caddy and this is the swing machine plus we have now over 70 proprietary trading tools they are tools they are not holy grails they are not automatic you must have good acquired trading skill but they are tools in much the same way that a skill saw can help you build the staircase these tools are going to hopefully help you build out a successful trading account and maybe more we're all about learning to trade as a business for yourself have a great weekend everyone and let's see what happened by the way I think I misspoke I was thinking it was Friday today is only 
Thursday. So we got some more, more of this market still. So my apologies. Have a great weekend.